Okay guys, hi and good morning. If you don't know me, my name is Addie and welcome back to my vlog. Two things. First thing is, um, I'm literally so excited because this weekend my best friend is coming to Virginia Tech and... Um, being completely blunt and honest, I've had a really hard time adjusting here, and I'm just so excited to see her. I feel like it will make me so happy. <laughs> I'm so excited to see her, and, 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 my dad is coming, and I'm just so excited to see him. I love Dan the man. You guys know Dan. But it's his birthday on Sunday, so I'm about to go to my 9 a.m. class. I went to the gym and everything. I think I'm going to do a little day in my life, so maybe I'll put it in. I think after my 9 a.m., I'm going to go get my dad a birthday present with what money? whatever's left in my bank account but he's worth he's worth every penny so i'm gonna go get him a birthday present i really hope he likes it maybe we can find something fun but the fit today is this and i'm just so excited also just to acknowledge the elephant in the room i got hit in cheer and i have a really bad bruise on my chest but we are good we're fine i didn't really vlog this morning because i'm gonna be this vlog is mostly tomorrow which is the game i'm so excited to sit with my parents and my siblings are coming eli and amelia just so excited i need my family right now <laughs> um but yeah let's have a great weekend i'm so excited bye okay i just finished my 9 a.m class and right now i'm in the bookstore and i'm trying to get my dad a birthday present i'm gonna call my mom probably and ask her oh that's cute i don't know if he'd wear that though look virginia tech papa bird can't tell if that's like funny or like kind of creepy but like i know if i saw a dad wearing that i'd probably be like <laughs> so maybe i sh shouldn't get that let me go scavenge oh that one's cute i'm actually stopped let's call my mom hopefully she answers um, oh she actually answered mom <laughs> mom help me oh it's dad give the phone to mom Go in, I have to tell you something, go in a different room. <laughs> Get as far away from dad as you can. Yeah, you better stay there, don't move. No, I'm serious, he can't be around. I'm getting dad a birthday present and I need your help. There's a shirt that says, Papa Bird. I feel like he might need it, but I don't know if it's weird or not. Okay guys, my dad's gift is secure. It was a hundred dollars way over my freaking budget. Wait, where am I going? Oh, salad, I'm going the wrong way. Okay, um, but now I have to go to this place called the Graduated Life Center because I got an email that I have a package. From who? We're about to figure out. I think it's from my grandma. She texted me and she's like, did you get something? Um, no, I didn't, but I'm about to. Um, but yeah, I'll show you my dad's sweatshirt when we get back. Oh, crap. On FaceTime with my mom, guys. What'd you say? Mom, I like it where it is. <laughs> look how cute this sweatshirt is. I feel like I did a good job. And look what's in the hoodie. Little surprise. Oh, yeah. It's favorite candy. It's actually the kind he likes. Okay. I actually ended up changing it to hide my bruise a little more just because I got asked if I was in a toxic relationship like three times and I was like, I can't do this anymore. But my dad is here and I'm so excited to see him. And I'm going to give him this present. It looks terrible, but when he unwraps it, it's going to be magical. Can't, can't be dropping his beautiful present. Something to give you and get your reaction. What? This is a dust touch it for me. There's a surprise. Oh. <laughs> There's things in it you have to open. I, could, I couldn't find a gift wrapping. <laughs> you, you wrapped it in here? Yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> oh. That's a great wrapping job. It's still cold. I, know. <laughs> I almost put the sweatshirt in the fridge. Oh. Yay. No. Oh. There's also a dessert flavor high chew. I don't oh, yeah. know how you'd feel about that. 
Nice. Isn't that cute? It's very cute. Well, thank you. Of course. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, I love it. Thank love you. Where? guys welcome to my dorm mtv welcome to my crib this is um hannah's vlog and in, in the virginia yeah, tech you can go. but we're going to dinner i'm so excited i feel like i'm at like summer camp i'm about to raid their closet for clothes mm -hmm. stay tuned, stay tuned. <laughs> okay guys we are all dressed and ready and the vlog is going to be mostly tomorrow but tonight me reagan and hannah and we're going to get dinner uh, Ava and Madigan are gonna get dinner with Dan, and the man. with Dan the man, and we will. I'll vlog a little bit, and I'll see you guys there. I'll vlog. Yes, bye. Bring it in. Oh, so oh it wasn't even recording. Aww. Okay, guys. Right now we are here at this place called Kabuki. I don't even know. Okay guys, hi, hello, and we are all ready. You probably recognize this dress from the grad party. Let's Why not talk about that? it. <laughs> Yo, Addie thinks that she can't post, it's not focusing. I think she can't post in this dress because she wore it four months ago for her grad party. But no one's gonna know that unless she tells them. She just <laughs> I was told gonna the whole wear, world. I know, I was gonna wear a denim dress. I tried it on. Whoever wants it, I'll sell it because it looks so ugly. Do you wanna wear it? You can try it on. <laughs> Anyways. She's um, no, <laughs> no. Okay, kind of. It looks w awful in here. She just got hit in the chest really bad. Hi, girl. I'm, I'm not guy. in an abusive relationship, guys, okay? No one beats her Gosh. except me. <laughs> I'm just Whoa! I'm just kidding. I just give up Anyways. my love. Are we so um, cute? Yes, but I, we were supposed to go to the breakfast with my dad, but I don't think anyone is ready. So, But he's already here, so let's go meet Dan. Okay. <laughs> hey guys, we're at the tailgate right now, and my whole entire family is here. We, I haven't really been vlogging much, but everyone's kind of playing soccer and eating breakfast. Yeah. And me and Addie chefed up oh. some biscuits. Yeah, me and Hannah hey. chefed up some biscuits. Look at them playing soccer. So cute. <laughs> yeah. Kinley, are you a soccer Yay. person? Yay. Cheers to Dan's birthday. All right. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. And this one's to the Hokies. Woo! Woo! <laughs> I took a shot with it in a lot. Yeah, yeah, that's the perfect. Hello. Hi. Oh my gosh. I Hello. Guys, right now we're walking to the games and I didn't. Hello. It's uh, Amelia and Hannah, Casey, and Anderson. Aww. Oh, that's so cute. It's like actually. Yes, we did. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, I was like, do I sugarcoat it? Let's be real here. Yeah, we got bored, so we left. <laughs> Yay! We're gonna go, we're gonna go rot in Addie's dorm until the game's over, and then go party. We're again. gonna go back to the tailgate. Whoa! Yay! <laughs> after I ate, I was done. <laughs> I anyway, said I was, after Edward Saintman was on, she's like, I'm gonna go. Yeah. yeah. After they ran out, I was ready. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm honestly the same. But we stayed until the end of halftime. So yeah, I'm actually proud of us. Yeah, me too. I, I sent my <laughs> parents a picture. I'm like, that's the longest we ever stayed. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 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 
I don't understand why there's any laughing. I got <laughs> off of the ground. <laughs> and break. Let's see it. Oh my Right here. Hi and welcome to another episode of Addie's Advice. If you don't know me, my name is Addie and it is so nice to meet you. Don't mind the pigtails. Um, I know this vlog is coming out kind of around Halloween weekends with my friends and I just was Dorothy so I had like blue bows in my hair but I'm back and um, yeah so that's why my hair is in pigtails. The quote that I'm about to do is about to do like a two quotes in one but like they kind of tie together. This one kind of sounds intense but the quote is, withholding forgiveness is like drinking poison and expecting another person's death. <laughs> okay, that actually sounds crazy. Not choosing forgiveness actually hurts you more than it hurts them. You could get completely walked over on by someone, yet you holding that grudge over them is harming you more than it is hurting them. When you choose to have an unbearing, angry mindset all the time, that is what you are choosing to be perceived as and to give off. So you are then becoming unbearing and angry to be around. And like personally, that's not the person I want to be. Um, but I also like feel out your emotions, okay? If you want to be angry, be angry, okay? Like, but you know, like it gets to a point where the more angry you are, the more power you are giving them even though they may have hurt you. I feel like people show they're angry to have the satisfaction that the other person or whatever your situation is knows that you are upset. But in reality, like that's not gonna take away what they did. That's not gonna take away how you feel. And this is literally, this is about to sound like a slap in the face, but forgive them to give yourself peace. Forgive, you don't have to forget, but it is so much like hurtful for you to just like hold on to this anger all the time because it turns you into such an angry person whereas if you just like forgive them for yourself you are kind of like letting yourself go like you're just like it's gonna be okay i don't have to be angry all the time forgiveness doesn't mean you have to let them back in your life you can honestly mentally forgive someone without actually saying like it's okay and that also is very hard. How can you forgive someone when they don't know that you have already forgiven them? Like, that's already so difficult. But if in your head you're like, it's okay. Like, people make mistakes. This is their first time living too. It's all going to be fine. But if you think about it like this, you are not letting their careless decisions depict the type of person that you are going to be. It is life-changing. Choose your peace over satisfaction and in the end you will be satisfied and that satisfaction might look different you'll just be satisfied with yourself and like that is the greater prize but with that being said forgiving someone is hard especially when what they put you through is so hurtful it is so hard it's like how can i just be like it's fine when how they made me feel isn't fine and it's more than just being like it's fine and like still holding on to those grudge. You actually have to forgive them, which takes so much time. And that's okay. Take as much time as you need. My friend Ava Clark said this to me and I will never forget it. And oh my gosh, she said letting someone who has hurt you have continued access to you only shows them that you do not respect yourself enough to walk away. It is so hard to differentiate the person or the people in your life, whether they are friends or relationship or more of who you once knew versus the person that they wanna be. You have to know that their actions and their behavior is lining up for the person that they see themselves as and you can't do anything about that everyone has different goals for themselves and some truly don't have any for themselves or they realize that they have goals but just a little later in life everyone's timeline looks different just because they're not in that part of their life yet doesn't mean that you can set goals for them they have to do it for themselves someone who's confused with themselves is only going to make you question yourself and your worth and honestly like Sometimes it clicks for people like way earlier. Sometimes you're like, oh my gosh, like no, I do not want to be treated like this. But sometimes it takes people a while. And sometimes you have to get to a point where you're so disrespected to where it just clicks. And you're like, okay, like this is actually not okay. Like I actually need to stop. And you need to ask yourself like, what goals in future do I have for myself? Because if it's always being let down by someone or the, the way that they treat you, whether it's a friend talking down to you or whether it's a relationship, whether it's a parent, or anything then that shows that you, you are okay with that treatment the more that you let them do it the more they're gonna do it because they don't see a problem with it because they didn't think you saw a problem with it Ava told me 
Respect yourself enough to know that you deserve better and don't stop until you find better. So that goes hand in hand with the forgiveness. Forgive people for yourself, to give yourself peace and to give yourself clarity. And don't let people who have hurt you have continued access to you because you're only doing yourself a disjustice, okay? You are worth so much and I might not have met you in person yet. I want to, um, but I'm so proud of you. and. It's a hard journey. It takes a long time. And I'm not telling you to get there like right away. That is so unrealistic, okay? But just know that like people started to word it to me as um, a form of respecting yourself or not. My like eyes open. I love you. Thank you for watching. And I will hopefully see you the next one. The next one will be a Halloween vlog, even though it's way past Halloween. Anyways, I love you and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.